What's going on, y'all? Ryan Weiss, 27 squared. This is Show Me Your Buoys. Getting ready to head out. Uh, gonna be my first solo launch, but there's a couple things I wanted to cover that I've seen people asking about online. One, issues with the ladder. Getting the ladder out. You just have to push in, 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 and up. And it should slide right out. People are saying it was really tough to get in and out. In and up, and then when you get in, up, and then it'll click into place. So, in and up, it should come right out. Gonna go over trim as well. Use your trim tabs. I'll go over how to do these. Put your plugs in before you get on the water. Have those out from last time. So just follow along. I'll have some different things that I'm gonna go over with y'all today. And uh, I'm gonna video getting this thing in the water by myself. All right, y'all, so all uncovered and everything. Like I said, I'm gonna be launching myself today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this rope to the boat and then attach it to my Jeep. So that way when I put in the water, it won't float away. Um, just enough to get it in the water and then I can get out and let it in the rest of the way. So I'm gonna take this rope and attach it to the cleat here. Okay, and then I can tie this part to my Jeep. I'm not gonna tie it super tight because I want it to be able to go into the water, but at least won't float away. So we'll be able to take a look at that. All right, so got that tied on here just loosely so I can quickly get it undone. And then one thing I always like to do, not everybody does this, but I like to disconnect my lights before I go on the water because they're hot from driving and that cold water can, you know, crack your bulbs or whatever. So I do that and then I tuck my light cord up into my wheel well here so it's not dragging in the water when I get in. Um, so there's that and then let's go get it, get her pulled up. Also, I made this little wheel chalk rig for when I load in by myself. So it hangs over my mirror like this, so it can't pull up. And then that way I can put it under my tire when I'm at the ramp and then it'll hold me in place. But the nice thing is, is that when I go to drive away, the weight's gonna pull onto it, so it's gonna be hard to get out. When I drive away, it'll just pull itself out and then it'll, it'll drag. So I don't have to try and pull it out of the water. So what you want to do is make sure you go ahead and get your chain unhooked so that the boat will float down once you're in. Get my bumpers unhooked. Got my ropes to tie up here, ready to grab. So we're gonna go ahead and back up now. So I'm gonna get this put in four wheel drive low. So we're ready to go once I'm in the water. Just follow your mirrors. back so I'm gonna pull my wheel chalk and then you can see the boats floated back a little bit so I can pull it back the rest of the way get her off here might need a little bit of a push when your chalk's kind of handy All right, she's off. So I go ahead and get her hooked on here. 
Now she's free. I can untie my rope. From here. And use this as a secondary tie up here. There we go. Now she's tied up. I can go ahead and drive away. You'll see my my wheel chalk there. We'll go ahead and just pull up right out of the water when I drive away. I'll show you. There we go. Go ahead and park, and then you come on back, and there is your boat launched by myself. So it's a little bit more work, but you can definitely do it. And these switches are so easy to maneuver. Getting out of this ramp and stuff on your own is not too bad. So here she is sitting pretty. We'll go over some stuff on the boat as well. And just like that, we're in the water on our own. Solo ride. And we will head out. Thank you. Here we go. Solo launch. And we're cruising. Simple enough, guys. You can do it. Um, you'll see here my trim tabs. They're about medium right now. So your trim's gonna be here. You have, if you double tap it, it's gonna go all the way to the bottom, double tap it up, it goes to the middle, double tap it again, it goes to the very top. And then you can just click it to individually adjust on your own as well. So when you are just setting out, depending on the weight of your boat, it's just me on here right now. So I just have my trim tabs right in the middle. Um, and then if you have more people on board, if there's more weight, you want to set these all the way down. When you have them all the way down, it forces the front of the boat down. When you have them all the way up, it allows your front of your boat to kick up more. That's going to be for better speed because you're going to go on plane straighter. So you want to really get comfortable with your trim tabs and how those work. It's very important to safe boating. Um, so make sure you know what you're doing when it comes to your trim tabs. Um, when you are when you're looking to go fast you're going to have your trim tabs all the way down balance out your boat appropriately uh, make sure that you have um, enough like one person in the side seat maybe one person in the front lounge seat to so the sport compacts a short boat it's light you have to balance your weight so balance your weight out appropriately there's a diagram in the manual Set your trim tabs all the way down, give yourself throttle, and then as you start to see the boat level out, you're gonna go ahead and put those trim tabs up. You're gonna need to play with them to see what's the safest for you. Um, you don't necessarily need to go all the way to the very top. I'm usually about one or two clicks from the top, just depending on the weight and the chop of the water and everything. So play with your trim tabs for safe um, and accurate boating, okay? Very important. Um, I'm here on Portage Lakes. Uh, right now I'm cruising by myself. I do have some friends coming to meet me, so I'm just gonna kinda putter around until they get here. Uh, I need to get my bumpers uh, out. Nice thing about these um, ones that come from BRP, so they just hang up here. A lot of people have been complaining about these. I literally have had zero issues. I've gone full speed, uh, you know, going through chop and stuff. Mine have not bounced off. People have said they bounce off. Um, I've had no issues. Uh, big fan of them. I've got one set on each side. So I have a total of four. Um, and they're great. Got the mirror there for skiing. Um, some people have asked about their boat not having the 
set up for like tubing and everything. So on the back here, there's this little pocket. It's got a place for you to store your rope and then straps so you can have your tube attached. Um, that should be on your boat if you got the sport model, the cruise. Check for that. Um, the IDF is very important. I use that on this lake that I'm on a lot. Um, it's got a lot of seaweed and stuff. For that, what you're gonna have to do, bring your boat to neutral. You have to power off, okay? Once you're powered off, you're gonna hold the IDF button. You're, it's gonna say engaging, and then it's gonna say press start. And then you need to hold your throttle. Now it's blowing out in reverse. Anything that might be in the thruster or seaweed or anything built up back there, now it's blowing it out. So this tells you what to do. It tells you when it's done. And then it'll go ahead and say, you know, ready to start again. And then you can go ahead and start the boat back up. Um, and that cleared everything that might have been in there. Out. I do that when I get in the water and then I do it once I get back to the boat ramp. And then you might have to do it throughout the day just depending on the type of water that you're in. This is uh, Portage Lakes, Ohio. I love coming out to this lake. This uh, switch is perfect for, for Portage Lakes because it's uh, mostly a pontoon boat lake. Almost everybody's got pontoon boats because um, a lot of it's no wake because it literally goes through like neighborhoods and stuff. But we've got all these different bars um, that are along the lake that we can come out to and dock up on and they have bands play. So it's really nice. So this is the upper deck. Um, over here, this is called the Blue Iguana. Uh, this is also a boat rental place here. We've got two designated speed zones and two designated swim areas where you can uh, do tubing and water skiing. Um, they have a designated spot for that just to keep everybody safe. So this is where I mostly come with the switch. Um, and yeah, it just it cruises through neighborhoods and stuff. It's really cool. They do fireworks off the lake for 4th of July. They do a lot of cool boat parades. Um, they do like a Christmas in July boat parade. So I missed a lot of that since I didn't get the boat till so late in the season. Um, but I'll be partaking in all of that next year. So it's actually funny. It's about a year ago to the date. Um, we were sitting right up there on the upper deck patio and watching all the boats go by. And I had been wanting a boat for about eight years. And uh, I finally said, screw it, you know, I'm gonna get a boat. So I was looking online and funny enough, it was like the, the weekend of, or like a couple days after they announced the launch of the Switch. So uh, we saw it online and I was like, man, I'm in love. I started pulling YouTube videos and watching it and everything. And then uh, I did some research and, and decided I was gonna order one, so. This is it. We got it a, a month ago in August and uh, been out out a, quite a bit uh, since getting it. So I'm cruising around a little bit by myself right now that I'm going to pick up some friends and go swim and maybe do some tubing. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the neighborhood that we cruise through. So this is a big, uh, pretty big neighborhood. You'll see some really um, expensive houses and then some smaller houses. Everything's pretty pricey though, just being on the water. Um, this big tan house here up straight ahead, it's called the Buckeye House. Um, they're all decorated for like the Ohio State Buckeyes. The one to the right of it's newer. Um, you can see here, This is all the seaweed I was talking about. So there's a lot of just like kelp and seaweed and stuff. So got to do that IDF every once in a while just to make sure everything's clear. But yeah, really nice neighborhood that we boat right through. This road behind these houses is goes to the boat launch. And then up here on the right is the famous Peen Boy statue. Um, it's a, a little boy who's connected to the water and uh, he shoots, shoots water out and it looks like he's peeing. So you can see him there.
behind in the sea dew. Looking good. Captain Content. Little action shot. Sir, how was your boat ride? Oh recording. Get in the water. <laughs> you were recording? Now. That's why I said shut up. Oh. I thought he meant the whole time. What? I thought he was recording the whole time. Did it. Get in, Ryan! Here we go. Oh, God. Well, I'm just saying, okay, if I... Blast for the best. Well, well, Swim all life. I'm, all I'm saying, all I'm saying okay, is, all I'm saying. if I need... It's cold. Oh, shit. It's cold. It's cold. Show me your buoys. Oh god, it's cold. Ah. Hi Nick. <laughs> Single ready to mingle. <laughs> Is this real life? Hey ladies. Single. Owns his own business. 37. 37 wants kids. <laughs> immediately. Immediately. Uh, immediately. Eligible bachelor. Hello, hello, hi. Internationally. Locally, I don't care. Just bring on the kids. Bring them. Let's reproduce. T2P. <laughs> Time to reproduce. T2P.